Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Island Living. Okay, hi guys, it is post editing Lauren here. Um, basically, <laughs> a few things happened in this video. Um, I was actually using a different editing software in this video, so um, basically the quality of it won't be as good because for some reason the quality of it is set to, uh, it is, uh, it is set to um, 900p, I'm pretty sure. So although the video will be rendered in 1080p, the quality actually won't be that. So I'm sorry if it's not up to the standard of my usual videos. Um, I've already got it sourced, so I've already got it set up so that when I record the next video it'll be fine. But unfortunately I did record uh, the Runaway Teen Challenge as well straight after this. So that is also going to have the same problem. So I just wanted to apologise for the, you know, the reduced quality in this video you know everything else is fine basically um it's just you know the actual video quality that isn't so great so um yeah either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i love you all bye guys so today we are back and of course we have taken a pretty long break so i'm sure you guys are kind of you know like where has the series gone Basically, I ended up going on holiday to um, Florida and then I came back and then I also had a break um, And then between that break Realm of Magic also came out. So um, I've been doing videos on that So that's why obviously my other series have been on a pause, but needless to say they're all coming back now So first up we've got Island Living then we've got um, Then we've got the Runaway Teen Challenge and then also the 100 Baby Challenge So a lot of challenges to play around with but I'm really excited to um to get my hands on this so seems like somebody has actually left their eggs on toast um in the kitchen so i am actually gonna go have i'm actually gonna go have jordan finish off making that her high uh hydra oh my god her high a little bit her hydration is pretty low so she's gonna need to go for a swim of course maui still doesn't know that um you know he still doesn't know about what is going on um, obviously she is a mermaid. Um, but however, we did find out in the last episode that his on and off girlfriend that isn't, isn't actually his girlfriend. He's not really seeing her. He was more just sleeping with her, if we're honest. Um, she actually, um, hold on, I'm just gonna go over take a bumper. She actually, um, is pregnant. So he is expecting a baby. We don't know what she's having just yet. Um, and he actually felt oh, pretty excited quiet. about it. So I think that's quite a big thing for them. Um, so I was thinking we would actually have him go and ask Eleanor if she wanted to be his girlfriend today um, Because I feel like you know like now that they've got a baby coming Maybe that is you know something that they should do they should actually make their relationship official They're not just sleeping together which means our girl Jordan and of course um, our girl Safina is actually gonna have to find out Oh, oh no <laughs> Well, I guess Maui knows that um <laughs> I guess Maui knows that Jordan's a mermaid now because she's just sitting here with her tassels out in the bath with her towel hanging out. So, uh, Babes, I think you found out the wrong way. Okay, let's leave. Okay, well, he knows she's a mermaid now, so I don't know how the hell that reaction's going to go down. He seemed pretty surprised. I mean, like, like she just lying in there as if it didn't even happen. She, she's, she's, oh no, never mind. She's embarrassed. She was like, oh, why did he have to find out like this? <laughs> <laughs> she is so funny. Oh my god, I love her so much. Okay, so either way, um, she is going to need to come out and explain. Um, so maybe we should come out and just, we should just come right out with it and just say we're a mermaid, you know? Oh, sure. So I think she is currently in the middle of explaining to Maui what the situation was. Maui doesn't even seem to care. Maui's just like, you know what, it's, it's not even that, you know, it's not, it's nothing, you know? You're a mermaid, Wh whatever. I feel like Maui probably knows about mermaids, whereas Safina, like, you know, she'd only heard about them. I feel like Maui probably knows a few mermaids himself, which is why he wasn't really surprised. But he is going to stand here and talk to his mama. Um, and we are, can have Jordan. I mean, she can't go swimming because there's somebody outside. But does she have work today? No, she does not. Okay, well, you know what that means? Odd jobs day because, babes, we are not getting enough money. Okay, so you need to go and find an odd job to do. And um, she also identified a new fish. Okay. And then we need to have Maui come out here and sell this stuff because right now we are poor as f Okay, so we are currently... 
at a one star. So we're not like terrible, but we're not exactly great. Um, so I feel like we should do the frogs for research since it's the only one that doesn't need a skill. And I don't know if Jordan has any other skills, so I just don't really want to go ahead and risk it. So I'm doing some research on frogs on the island. In short, checking them for disease and r recording hereditary traits. I need as many examples as possible, um, as many samples as possible. All frogs will be released back after I've completed analysis. I hear the waterfall is a great spot to catch them. So we will go ahead and actually take that. It only pays 90 simoleons, which honestly isn't the isn't the greatest. But either way, we can have Maui go ahead and um, maybe dive for a few more things. We're going to bring him along. Where is he? Okay, let's bring Maui along. And I'm going to have these guys actually head on out to Muapelam. So let's head over there. Okay, so we just arrived and actually Eleanor is just standing here pregnant um, whilst Maui is here as well. Maybe Open we should go day. over there and <laughs> um, oh, he's actually just running away from her. That's probably not the best thing to do, Maui, okay? Let's, let's go and ask her about her day. Jordan probably thinks that's a little bit weird that he's just doing that. But either way, she needs to go catch some frogs. So that's going to be her priority. So let's go and see if we can attract some frogs and see what we can get out of that. She has just changed into her bathing suit. She is looking so good. Look how many abs she has. This girl is ripped. Like, she is the most ripped mermaid you've ever seen in your life, honestly. So cute. <laughs> I love her. Okay, right. Let's head over there and um, let's see if we can attract some frogs. Here we go, get a little bit of uh, frog food in there, let's see if that's what we'll get them in. And let's go and catch some frogs. See, this guy is weird. Like, I told you this before, right? The, the furry, he always turns up with his, like, furry ears on. It's weird, okay. Um, she found roast chicken. Okay, well, there's like, I literally see four frogs. So, I'd be surprised if you don't catch a frog. Okay, she found a frog. How many frogs we got to do? Catch, catch frogs at the... I just did that. I did just catch frogs. How long does it take to go through? Because I'm telling you right now, I, 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 I caught them. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. Can I, can I fake accept it? There we go, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Because I did actually catch a frog. You guys saw. I caught a frog. So, what do I do now? Due by 8pm on Tuesday. But I'm done. I don't know. Okay, well, apparently, apparently she's done. Um, either way, Maui is actually out here. I think he's just using the toilet real quick. But we do want him to go and do a bit of diving. So let's find the dive spot that we head to all the time. And I've lost it. Honestly, I have no map awareness. Uh, no map awareness, my playing League of Legends. Um, I have no sense of awareness when it comes to worlds. So I just don't even know where I'm going. Okay, so let's go and maybe... Oh, what are we going to do? Free dive or scuba dive? Um, right, we didn't do spear fishing, which I actually wanted him to do, um, and also take underwater photos. So let's go do the underwater photos and also um, spear some fish while he's under there. And Jordan, my darling, um, she has finished her job. I don't know if we have to wait until 8pm on Tuesday um, for it to complete, because it's due by then. I don't know if we like wait till then for it to complete, or whether we just kept... I, I mean, I thought we got paid as soon as it went through, but... Um, I absolutely have no idea. So I want them to get really rich. I know this sounds really weird. I, I know, like I said, this was like every Sims game. I mean, I know I said this with like every Sims game that I want my Sims to get rich, but honestly, like I really want a, like a nice little beach house and, you know, just stuff. I mean, I even went for water themed or like marble themed nows this time don't they look like water they look pretty cool right can you see them yeah yeah they look pretty cool one of them's matte actually this one's matte i always show you guys my nails every single time i get my nails done i feel like i hardly even go outside of my house so like who the hell else is going to see them so i'm like let me show them to all my subscribers because they will appreciate my nails <laughs> it's only me and my boyfriend who's ever going to see them to be honest so um, Sabina has just finished work and she earned loads of money. Amazing. So we're already at a 4k, which isn't too bad. And Maui has actually got some like photos and stuff in his inventory. So he has one that's worth 200 simoleons. The other one's worth 200 as well. He has a guppy, which obviously we're not going to do anything with anyways. But he's going off to work. Um, is he okay? No. What's going on? Maui? Are you okay? Maui? No. What? Are you okay? Maui? Go home. 
Oh, I was horrifying. Maui, keep swimming. Do not let the shark touch you. Oh my God, why was he screaming? Why was he doing that? I don't, I don't know why. Why was he doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Right, he's he's actually got work in a little while. I'm gonna go have him go fishing um, whilst we're waiting for him to head on off to work. And Jordan is actually going for a quick swim. She's now level seven of the fitness skill as well, because obviously her abs are just getting bigger and bigger. But honestly, I love her mermaid form. I just love watching her like, you know, swim around as a mermaid. I'm just, I'm living my, my H2O vibes, like my H2O dreams. Like I actually used to get into every single swimming pool and used to pretend to swim like a mermaid. And hopefully I would randomly have powers. Like, you know, when you're a kid, that this is, uh, this is uh, we're getting deep now, right? You can see my in the background. We're getting deep. Basically, that's a really cool fish that I just saw. Um, basically, I used to hope that one day I would, you know, have water go on me and I would turn into a mermaid. So sometimes, just randomly, I would go and get, like, a cup of water and, like, you know, like, who is it? I can't remember who it was. Because there's Cleo and then that was, I only knew Cleo because I only liked Cleo. Well, Cleo is my favourite. Ricky and... I'm getting close, right? Yeah. Cleo, Ricky and the other girl, the blonde one. The other blonde one, I mean. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's our sister. Okay, I want to go say hello. Um, wait, is that our sister? I think it is, yeah? Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, either way, as I was saying, damn, she's just going deep. She's going deep in the water. <laughs> um, I used to pretend that I was, that I could control the water like that. And I used to try my hardest. Okay, well, either way. We're, and now that my confession's over, <laughs> confession of a, a child who loved H2O. I'm going to have Maui actually head on off to work and hopefully earn a bit of money. Um, he caught a perch as well. An invasive species that damages the local ecosystem. Removing invasive species from local waters makes a difference. Keep it up. Oh, okay. So he's actually helping the environment. Um, either way, we're actually just here talking to our sister. Maybe, um, what should we do? Maybe give her a quick splash because obviously we're going to live out of my dreams. Maui's just like, bye guys. <laughs> Swimming straight through them. How funny. Oh my God. Um, um what else should we do? There we go, she was smashing us back, that is funny. And ask if mermaid, um, babes, you already know that she's a mermaid, like, let's be honest. Maybe compliment her outfit or something. She is currently wearing a bra, I do need to sort that out because she was, she was supposed to have a naked top like she did, but never mind. She has a really cute towel. I love the fact that the towels are kind of similar. Like, she goes pink to, like, you know, cream. And she goes pink to pink or pink to dark pink. Like, like pink to dark pink. Pink to pink. That makes sense. Um, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, what time does Maui end work? Because I do obviously want him to... Um, I do want him to go to the bar. So he finishes work at 8. So I feel like at 8 o'clock we should have them all, you know, go and do their own thing. Um, so let's bring Safina here. So we're going to leave Jordan to sort of talk to her sister a little bit, you know, um, do her thing, you know, maybe tell her engaging story and stuff like that. And Safina has just arrived and I want her to go and um, do a bit of cleaning up because obviously the island is um, clearly having issues. Oh my God, look at that dog blue. Oh, okay. Um... Right, uh, maybe we should take a sample from the ocean. That might be good. Ah, oh, it's finally working now. Okay, good. Okay, she's finally, she's finally cleaning stuff up. All right, go and clean all of that stuff up. Wow, that is that is a scene. That is a scene and a half. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, looks like that's all the can harvest right now. That's fine. Okay, right, clean that one up. Um, right, let's see if we can do these ones now. Since maybe they've fixed it, I'm not too sure. And if need be, we'll go clean those. Um, success to, uh, success is hard work to catch frogs. They're slimy and they hop a lot. They don't particularly want to be caught. It's like they don't even care about science. Nevertheless, Jordan prevailed. A selection of frogs are right on time. Your odds of racing has improved. You received $90 and a $4 tip. And Maui has also finished work. Damn, we are doing pretty well today, aren't we? Um, right, I want to have a pull her phone out and see if we could... Uh, oh, we've got to check back at 8am for the odd jobs. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's have her go home, and then Safina can head back home once she has finished cleaning up this island. Because I really want, um, I really want the, you know, the turtles. Is it working? I really want the turtles to, like, come and, like, lay babies. No, okay, maybe she's not finishing it. Hold on. Right, just try and finish it without doing something else. 
Um, she actually does need to spread some conservation yeah. awareness. So I'm just going to grab this Triangle, woman because storm. this woman is actually a conservationist, I'm assuming. Aria? Yes, yeah, so I think Aria is a conservation awareness person. Right, okay, let's see if we can spread conservation awareness with her. And then let's just keep cleaning up because we clean, we tried cleaning that up about three times and then it finally disappears. So maybe you just need to keep doing it until it works. And uh, she finished doing her job. No, she didn't even spread conservation awareness to this woman. You need to tell her about the conservation. See, it's finally gone! She, she done it! Okay, you just gotta keep cleaning them up like a few times. So they don't go like the first time. Um, but either way, we're gonna have her travel with Jordan and Maui and we're all gonna head to like a bar or something. Um, just because I want, you know, Jordan, um, sorry, I want Maui to introduce everybody to Eleanor. Because obviously Eleanor is pregnant, so he does need to go ahead and ask if he wants to be their girlfriend as well. Um, so I tell you what, let's head to the Solani Festival, which is actually a beach lot. I think it's, uh, you know, a nice place to go to so that we can all sort of sit there and listen to a bit of music. Maybe cook something up on the little fire pit as well. Okay, so we have just arrived and there's a few bars over here and I think we actually are just waiting for a bartender to come over. Oh, surprise, surprise. Damien's actually turned up. Hmm, okay. Um, well, I don't know what is going to be going on with... Uh, Safina and Damien because obviously he is always wherever Jordan is and it's kind of creepy that he always turns up where the Jordan is I did ask you guys why you think that is um, but you know we, we, we're gonna have to see why he seems to keep turning up wherever it, well wherever this family is in general he always turns up it's just it's weird um, but he just always is around Jordan I don't I don't know why it's not even Safina um, but either way Maui has just turned up here and he's actually gonna come over and give his lady a quick caress of the cheek and he's actually going to go ahead and ask her if he wants to be you know girlfriend um girlfriend and boyfriend since obviously they've got a baby coming and i think it'll be a really good thing for them but their friendly level is kind of low so they do need to like get to know each other a bit more because right now they don't exactly know each other the best um but we are going to go ahead and romantic let's go and ask her to be your girlfriend. And let's see what she says. There we go. And she is completely up for being his girlfriend. Oh my god, look at these little cuties. And they're completely tatted up, which is what I love as well. Uh, but she went ahead and agreed to be the girlfriend of Maui. Amazing. So he got himself a little girlfriend. Awesome. Um, but I think we're going to have Maui actually come and tend the bar. And then we'll make some drinks for everybody. Um, and then let's go ahead and make drinks for everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and make some gin, wait, root beer floats. I think that's a good idea. So it looks like Safina is still trying out that violin. I, if you guys don't remember last time we brought her along and she was still trying the violin. Violin, it ain't her bag. You know, I'm going to be honest, it's really not her bag. But you know what, it's a thought that counts. And um, so apparently... Um, Safina says I like Eleanor and she is pretty cool. So I think she's not, you know, I think she's okay with them being together. Um, and obviously, I mean, Chill. just from the fact that he's explaining Where's that the they are together also means oh, that we'll is mean his baby in there. So I don't know what they are expecting. It's pretty exciting for them. It would be nice if they could head to the gynecologist, but we shall have to see. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and go flirt with this lady. I feel like they they have a really, really, really good, like, chemistry together. But it's just whether it's just a case of whether they, um, you know, get on with each other and us as friends, maybe. I'm just, I'm not really sure. Um, Jordan's been feeling, you know, pretty, pretty down since what's been going on with Alton as well. Because she really thought that she had found somebody that she'd liked since... Um, you know, since her son's dad, because obviously everything that happened with her son's dad, he was, you know, he's a bit of a bit of an ass, really. Um, and she really thought she'd found somebody that she liked, and he's just like not acting interested in her at all, and it's really putting her off. You know, the fact that um, he's acting really uninterested, and you know, like wouldn't kiss her in front of anybody. It just, you know, it just isn't great, and obviously everything that's been going on with, you know, their dad and everything. Um, she's kind of been staying away from Alton, but I don't know, you know, what she's going to do because he won't, he won't confess whether we're just going to have to go and, you know, you know, tell him ourselves that we know. Um, I don't know, but what do you guys think is going to happen between her and, you know, Alton? Do you think it's going to work or what do you think is going to go on? But 
Either way, um, I think maybe I think personally, Jordan maybe needs to find some new some new fish in the sea because I'm not I'm not sure it's working out between I'm not sure it's working out between them. But we we shall see either way. Um, so he's still sitting here talking to Eleanor. They seem to be getting on okay, and he actually does need to go use the toilet. There we go. And um, we can go ahead and grab a serving together and have everybody come and grab some food because I'm sure everybody is pretty hungry. So let's go and grab. Um, let's go and grab some food and in the meantime, I'm just having a quick look around Seeing if I can find anybody for maybe Jordan or Safina to get with because right now nobody seems very Interested. I mean this guy's okay, but he's an adult and I feel like I feel like Safina's a bit too young Safina's probably a bit too young to be with an adult Jordan on the other hand definitely could be with an adult But I feel like now she would feel the need to be with a merman because she'd want to be with somebody that's kind of like her She's always kind of felt out of place as I said and that you know that I feel like she would want somebody that shares that you know thing with her So I feel like she you know she would probably want to try and find a merman to be with but we we shall see either way. Um, Maui's gonna go quickly go grab some food and then... So we just arrived on back home and I'm gonna have everybody just put themselves to bed because literally everybody is like exhausted. So let's just have everybody head on off to sleep and I'm gonna go ahead and skip until the morning and play an extra day in today's episode. Um, just because I would like to get a little bit of money made up and um, you know just, just play an extra day really. I think it'll be quite fun for us to do that. So I will go ahead and skip until the morning. So it is now the morning and Maui is finally awake. So he's going to go use the toilet and grab himself some food. And then we can have Jordan actually go ahead and get some odd jobs. Because I want to go ahead and obviously make a little bit of money today. Um, I think she has got work tomorrow. So we're all good today. She can go ahead and find herself a few odd jobs to go with. And then obviously we can go from there. And it is also the lottery today. So I think I might have everybody see if I can try my luck and maybe win once in my lifetime. And actually have everybody in the household go ahead and purchase a lottery ticket to see if maybe we will win. Um, it's unlikely, if I'm, if I'm honest. You know, it's, it's very unlikely. But we'll go ahead and give it a go anyways. Um, and also pay the bills as well because I don't want our, you know, our stuff being turned off. And then once Maui's finished buying his ticket, he can actually come and turn the table and do a little bit of that. So, we are now a two star in the odd jobs and someone is in need of waxing. Um, that is handiness skill. Mixologist, handiness, charisma. She definitely has charisma skill level one. So, looking for judges for a local sand sculpture competition. Competition, must familiarise self with all rules and regulations upon arrival. You know what? Do you have a prior judging experience? No, she doesn't, but we're going to lie. I'm going to say that we do. Um, so, it looks like... Jordan is actually going to head on off in a second to the odd job. So that's good. So once she's finished paying the bills, there we go. She's going to head on off to that odd job and see how that goes. And Silas actually just turned up as well. That is um, that is Maui's friend. He is just buying a lottery ticket really quick. There we go. Right, he's gone ahead and bought a lottery ticket. Hopefully he can have us win, but we shall see. And in the meantime, I'm going to have him come outside and actually tend the table. I wanted to go ahead and actually, um, you know, put up a few of the other stuff that he's got. So he's got the photograph, which I think we have to sell just manually. I don't think we can sell it like that. Um, all the rest of the stuff can actually just be sold like that. So I'm just going to leave him out there to go and do that. And then we will hang up the underwater photos that he's taken in the house. And then he can decide if he wants to sell them later. So, um, what have we got first of all? So this is one of the first ones that he's taken. That is a really, really nice uh, picture that he's got. I don't think his camera's great. It looks a bit blurry, I'm going to be honest. But normal quality either way. And um, we've got another one just here, which is a slightly smaller one. Which I must admit, I prefer this one a lot more. But either way, it's not going too badly. You know, all the pictures look look pretty nice. And I think they look nice around the house considering he's done them. Um, when has Safina got work? She actually has the day off today. Wow, aren't you just, aren't you just, you know, kicking the boat out? Maybe she should go out and, um, you know, do a bit of sunbathing. Uh, she can't sunbathe because it is raining. Of course, of course you can't. Uh, my bad, you know. Um, so Melly or whatever her name is, has just randomly invited herself into... My dog's barking, I hope you can't hear that. Um, she actually just invited herself into the house, which is, which is kind of weird, to be honest, but... Um, we've actually got her conservationist canoe. I'm so excited by that. Honestly, I haven't even used the canoe yet. I'm, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm excited for her to go out fishing on it. I mean, Maui probably would be the one to go out fishing on it. He, he gets pretty excited about fishing, you know, so. And it would seem nobody is interested in buying anything from him. 
Uh, maybe, oh, may maybe God. one. Maybe, uh, maybe this lady will be interested. I like so. her tights. Oh. Uh, Interesting choice in the weather that we're having, but um, yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead and buy something. Uh, a coconut. That's fine. I mean, a coconut's better than nothing, I suppose. I'd rather you buy the heart of Sulani, but you know, I'm I'm not being picky. I'm not I'm not fussy. You know. Jordan should be back in like one second. Should be back in like now. Okay, 126 simoleons she earned. Great success. Jordan was the best judge they've ever had at the competition. Just wise, artistically critical. There are those who say she was born for such a role. Additionally, she caught three cheaters. How do you cheat at a sandcastle competition? Just ask Jordan, who heard so. Humble to have such a legend amongst their ranks. The beach administration paid Jordan a bonus for gracing their competition. Um, and she, you know, got an extra 21. She also gained a relationship with Augustine. Who is Augustine? Her boobs? Who is who is Augustine? Who is this boy? Who is this man? Okay, she's in her second trimester, so she'll be giving birth in probably the next episode, which would be pretty cool. Ooh, but he's actually nipper, due nipper, up to nipper. go. Um, he's actually due up to go. Uh, wait, come back. Wait, no. He's actually due up to go to work. So I need to have Jordan. I love how he goes off in flippers, like he's like ready for work. Like he's like he didn't even wait to, until he got onto the boat to put his flippers on. He literally just had them on. He walked to work in flippers. Okay, um let's do a little bit of tending the table and stocking the table up. I'm pretty sure she had some stuff in her inventory as well. Yep, she has some more conch shells, a sea urchin shell, we have some tulip shells, moon snail shell that can't be sold. These can be sold. The eyes of Sulani. What other bits of Sulani have we got? The fingers of Sulani. <laughs> oh, somebody just bought something for 480 Smolians. Not bad at all. Not bad. Maui should be back from work at 10 o'clock. So you know what? I'm going to have Jordan basically go until 10 o'clock until Maui gets back. Because, um, you know, he's, he's at work. He should be earning a, a fair amount of money. And then once he comes back, Jordan can finish doing her selling. Hopefully she gets one more sell. He earned 210 simoleons today. Amazing. Good job, Maui. Again, he comes home in his flippers. He literally walked all the way home with his flippers on. Love that. Um, I think we've got a pretty bad storm outside. So why don't we go prepare some kava and you can have um, you can have a quick drink. And then Jordan is actually going to go ahead and stop the yard sale because I don't really fancy getting her electrocuted and then she can go and use the toilet. And now that I've gained a little bit of money in this episode and I feel like we've been kind of productive. Sorry if this episode was a little bit more boring than the others just because it was probably a little bit less story. I just wanted to go ahead and get them a little bit of money. Don't you just love that like super red spot on her face? Like she got unlucky with that one. And <laughs> um, I just wanted her to, you know, um, I wanted everybody to go and earn a little bit of money and, you know, work on that side of things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, if you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I go around to them as soon as I can. And if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, you can notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss one of my uploads. And also, if you consider um, if you consider supporting the channel, go ahead and press that little join button and, and join the Miss Lollipop Sims membership where you get little badges, you know, so people can recognise you in the chat. Um, you get, you know, emojis and different types of perks with being in the membership as well. If you guys have got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will get around to answering them. And yeah, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys!